So in a previous video I showed you how to take a pointer to a variable on a stack and walk around and kind of examine the stack and see that one function calling another function calling another function. You can see those functions kind of lay out on the stack. And a stack is just a chunk of RAM addresses we 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 address in a stack based way. Anyway, I'm going to do something a little dirty here. Actually, this is similar to what a virus would do, but uh, it's kind of fun. I think it proves a point, helps you learn something. Let's do void function one. And I'm going to make an int here. Let's call it f1 int. And let's give this value 92. And then I'm going to invoke a function 2. So we better define a function 2. Void function 2. And then in here I'm going to say int f2 int. I'm not going to assign anything. I'm just using it so I can take an address to a variable on a stack. So int pointer p gets f2 int. All right, and then I'm going to say for and I'm just going to guess a little arbitrary here. Let's say, oh, I need the address here. Address of F2 in. I less than 20, I plus plus. So I'm going to see out uh, the value star P plus I. Remember, I'm adding a number to an int, which, which uh, takes the offset from that. Or I'm adding a number to a pointer, which takes the offset from the pointer by the size of that pointer. If that's not cl crystal clear review to you, go watch the pointer videos again, especially the pointer arithmetic videos. Anyway, uh, end line here. So, really easy. Function 2, I'm going to invoke function 1 here, which will define this variable on the stack in its scope of, of that instance of function 1. And then it's going to call function 2, and function 2 is going to do something dirty and kind of wander around the stack here. I'm hoping that we will find in our output a number 92. Because eventually this pointer that's pointing to a variable on the stack is going to walk around and eventually end up down here. And we should, we should see a 92. So so let's, uh, let's build that and run that and examine the output right here. It looks like we... Oh, here's a 92. Hiding at position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Well, if you notice here, I'm just writing out. I'm saying... Let's, let's print it. So I've pro proven that, yeah, I can examine the stack and eventually creep into function 1's data on the stack there. I see the 92. So what if I do this? I'm going to, instead of uh, printing it, I'm going to say if, and I could I could say p plus 4, but I noticed as I was experimenting here that the, the address changes depending on how I've written my code. So I'm just going to keep it in a for loop. I'm going to say if star p plus i is equal to 92, meaning the magic number, I'm going to turn around and say, you know what? I'm not going to read from it. I'm going to actually do something dirty and write to it. I'm going to do, oh, do I dare? 6, 6, uh, 7. All right, 6, 6, 7. That's close to a, a uh, satanic number. Anyway, uh, so, if, so if, if we find 92, let's modify it to something else, and then... Once we know we found it, we can actually just break. We're done. All right? Okay, mm. so let's go down here. I'm going to say, all right, before I call function 2, I'm going to print f1 int, make sure that everything is okay. We should see 92 print right here because we assigned it 92. Okay, but then we're going to call function 2, which does some dirty stuff, finds our local variable here on the stack and modifies it to a very bad number. And I'm going to... I'm going to print f1 in again here. After function 2 is executed, we should see that function 2 is able to uh, modify things that it shouldn't have modified. And so let's build and run this. And we see, aha, <laughs> it worked. It's alive. <laughs> well, don't do this at home. But but I hope that that gives you the idea that yeah, it's a stack, and you can walk around the stack. You can yeah, virus. Yeah, I didn't teach this to you. Okay. Anyway, there you go.